Hi everybody. So this is kind of the inspiration and style for this next furniture makeover. This cheetah lamp is by House of Hackney. And then there are these fun animal tables. Quite eclectic, I think. And perhaps a hint of dark academia. This is what I found for 40 euros and I brought it home. I have the table here. It's too tall. I'm gonna start by trying to remove these legs. If I had to describe my style or what I love the most with one single word, it would be eclectic. I love to mix and match styles. It keeps everything looking very interesting and layered. As you can see here, the base is just MDF. Next, I'm removing the lions. They are actually metal and quite heavy. So my idea is to just flip this base over so that it will have a nice modern edge profile and the whole thing will sit nice and low. These bolts hold the glass top in place and I'm going to remove the paint layers. I started by cutting most of it off and then used paint stripper to finish the job. So then I made a quick cardboard mock-up of these wooden legs. If I was to make these, I would just get rid of the original base altogether. I really liked this idea, but decided I'm not going to attempt it now, but possibly in the future. What do you think of this idea? Back to the original base then. I filled in where the legs had been and sanded them smooth. I had to go back and forth with filling and sanding a couple of times. As with my previous video, I started filming this project in the summer. Then I just didn't get around making it into a video before this. I just thought that no one would be interested and my motivation was low. I have been so happy to notice your likes and comments and that has really meant a lot to me. Then I spray painted the base with matte black. I haven't used spray paints much, so I thought I would get a smooth finish with it. However, the result was really bad. Uneven, and even though the paint said matte, it definitely had some shine to it, which made all the unevenness show even more. I decided to paint it with a brush and some matte paint I had left over from the fern cabinet dupe. While I was waiting for the base to dry, I did some touch-ups on the lions. The lions were held in place with big bolts, so I just drilled into the base and then chiseled the rest out to get the bolts to sit flush with everything. Then it was time for coat number two and this project was almost done. All that was left to do was to reassemble the table. I cut out the part that this took us an hour to actually get right. It turned out to be quite tricky to get the lions to sit at the exact right spots for everything to line up nicely. Finally, it was time to style the table with some second-hand treasures. This base creates a natural place for books, the lions being the bookends. So I'm placing some books here. Some more books on top. A wooden plant stand. A plant chessboard I found for 450. I put the chess pieces in this beautiful wooden box. Another little plant. An African clay camel from the 70s. And finally this old vase I found from a flea market in Spain. And now it's ready. That's it for this video. What do you think of the coffee table? I didn't make huge changes, I just modernized it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I make room and furniture makeovers. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of something that I'll be working on soon. I bought these DVD slash CD towers for 10 euros each and I'm going to make them into something completely different.